what I'm gonna say now is is reality. This is this is truth. Okay, I'm almost 50 years old, and I and I learned a lot along the way. And I learned you don't really say things unless you can prove them. That being said, what I'm gonna say, I can prove, but I cannot prove right now. I mean, I can prove it, but I'm not allowed to share how you prove it yet. Reptilian hybrids. Reptilian hybrids are real. They're humanoids. They have an agenda. They think they're smarter than you and me because they probably are. <laughs> they probably are. And or they definitely can do, I believe, telepathy. Now that I can't prove, but they're, they're definitely the reason why I think that is because they're so organized. They're more like a someone told me they're more like a like a nest. Like the bees, how the bees are. It's all for the common goal of each other. They're more united than we are. We're more individuals. We have we have all of us have more of an individual thing. That has to do with being redeemed through God. See, because if you're in a place where you can be redeemed or you can fall away, you have to be completely your own person. Because if I can go to hell, but you go to heaven, you see how we have to be separate? One of a, we have, that way you have a free will, a choice. They don't have a free will like you and me. They're, they're definitely more... They're definitely more... Um, they, they do things for the, for, the, for the nest, so they don't really do it like you and me do it. For, for you know well we do it for our own reasons but our reasons are usually our own individual reasons why we do things they don't do it that way they work for the nest so there, there is a way to see them God has revealed to me there is a way to see them but God wants the glory for it I don't get the glory for it God gets the glory for it see they I uploaded a Chilean hybrid video in November it got 10,000 views in one week and from that moment on, I went to the hospital and the doctor there. I'm going to get her name, too. She tried to kill me. She gave me an IV that was making me sick and sicker. And I, I pulled that thing out and went home. I got better like that. It was the IV. I guarantee you that. I mean, if the, if I'm feeling sick, I take the IV out, then I'm better. It's the IV. Well, anyways, uh, to confirm it, two weeks later at a stoplight, I turn around. This man is trying to open my car door, trying to get to me. It wasn't a carjacking because his truck was parked at the red light. It was, it was, his motor was still on. It was still revving. Trying to get to me. Then, a month, two months later, I found, because every time they came after me, like, they confirmed their percent hybrid was real. They confirmed they were coming for me, too. The third thing confirmed is I was being gang stalked. And this is all God and them. See, they're, they're telling themselves God is, is allowing them to do it. By sending them a false delusion, they, they, they bite into the bait, and then boom. So three, I'm being gang stalked. The fourth one was a few months later from the reptilian hybrid video upload. I had two huge marine guys try and sneak in my window at 1 o'clock in the morning. I was getting ready for bed, and I saw a shadow of a man walking down my steps. Now, I don't think the shadow of the man was really even there. I believe in my heart that God put that there so I would be aware of something's outside. I, I totally believe that. I don't think anybody was on my porch. However, down below, I could hear someone creeping around down you know, the window. I opened the window, I could hear someone downstairs creeping around the grass. Cops came out, didn't want to shine their lights. He snuck off, he's like, shh, let's go. I saw him do it. I saw the cop go, shh, and they snuck off. That's the first cops. Second time, they hung up on me. The third 911, the phone's ringing, a voice came on and goes, No one's gonna help you. Something like that. My brother was staying the night, he goes, What was that? Because he thought I was crazy. He was, he was, he was gonna pack his stuff and go, to, go, go back home. And he goes, What was that? I said, You tell me, remember I'm crazy. He heard, No one's gonna help you. Why would someone be hacking? This is like, now we're at 3 in the morning. No one would hack into my phone at 3 in the morning. Especially during a 911 call, unless this was serious. So my brother heard that. This, this is a true story. I live on Louisiana Street, North Park. This is a true story, folks. This is the San Diego police trying to kill me. The, so we called the third time. The voice, no one's going to help you. The phone is ringing. The guy answers 911. It was the first dispatcher. He was, a, he was friendly. He was very nice. He stayed on the phone with me. Cops came out. 
my aunt lives in the front house. My uncle, my older brother, they came out. Now suddenly there's like nine people in the backyard. So I feel a little safer, but the cops aren't my friends. They're supposed to be there to protect us. We give them our trust and they don't, they abuse our trust. Um, the two cops running the thing kind of surrounded me. One got, they kind of got around me. And the, 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 the older cop with the mustache goes, you're on meth, go back inside. I'm like, wow, where's my drug test? Where's my where's my uh, my jury trial? I had to beg these cops for 20 minutes to shine their lights behind my studio apartment. I had to beg them, almost on my knees. They shined it really quick. Said, if you call us again, even if you're getting killed, if you call us again, we're going to arrest you. So they left. Go upstairs, take your medicine. I go back upstairs. It's like 3:30 in the morning. I have, you know, sun, sun's coming up soon, so I, I have a, they have a little window of opportunity. Yet the guy's still there. I could hear it, you know, like actually I didn't hear nothing that third time. It was, cre it was quiet. What happened is at 4:15 in the morning, around 4:15 in the morning, I'm starting to fall asleep now. I can't keep my eyes open no more. My brother is starting to fall asleep. He's, his eyes are closed. We hear a loud boom. We both jolt up. I hear a man running from the side of my studio, but it was a neighbor's yard because they're, they're connected. There's like a, a big fence with a big, huge bush. I hear a, a, I hear a big boom. I hear someone running out from my neighbor's yard. It's only like four feet away from my studio. Four feet away. And then I hear a guy going, ah, ah, ah. you hear him running and you hear his feet. Ch, 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 ch. Then suddenly this horse sound like kind of starts covering it up. They're using like some sound weapon to cover up the tracks. I mean, they just can't, they just want to play with these toys. They just they want to play with these toys. These are the weapons that they have against. They're going to be rolling out on. They're going to be rolling these out on the American people. So my brother wakes up because I heard someone running away, but it sounded like a horse. It sounded like a man with two feet and hooves, like a man, like a goat man with two hooves, you know, two feet, hooves. The point is, is that there was someone there. The cops knew it. If the cops didn't know, whether they're incompetent. And they threaten me that I can't call the police. That's a crime. We gotta find out if the cops are showing that to everybody. That's a that's a crime. You can't tell people they can't call the cops. Can you prove that they're playing with you? You have to be able to prove that they're playing with the 911 thing. You have to prove it. You can't just assume it and tell them they can't call 911. Why? Because we're the ones paying the taxes. That's why. Everything you see is built by us, the American people. Everything you see, the water company, the electricity company, DMV, we own that. It's built by us. They don't want you to know that, but because if you don't know it, they'll, just, they'll, they'll keep it. But we own it. It's really our property. They, they're supposed to be civil servants working for us. Like when you go hire someone to clean your house, you don't move into someone's house when you're cleaning it and take it over. They, they did. So the police department in San Diego is involved with the gang stalking. They're the ones that are doing it. It's, so when you're being gang stalked and you're in a major city, 99% of the time, you're being gang stalked by your local police department. Under It's a black ops program. It's your, it's your local police department working with the military. And DARPA, because they have high advanced weapons, to harass you and terrorize you. They are the new terrorists. It ain't the American people that want freedom. It's the government. Now, they don't want people to know this because it's more of a beta test. They're just trying to see what they can do, what they can't do, how people react. They're keeping notes because in the near future, I'm guessing about five to 10 years from now, because this has been going on for at least 40 years, at least 45 years. They plan to roll this out on everybody soon. If you're going to tackle all this stuff, the chemtrails, the fluoride in the water, all that stuff is dandy. You really got to change the police, first of all. You got to change the police. You got to change the generals. You got to change the, um, the, uh, you know, the judges that sit on, um, in the courtrooms. You have to change those fellas into some good folks. That's the very first thing you do. Then you start going after the people in power, and if you can prove crimes... You prosecute them. If you can't, you got to pull them out anyways. The entire government has got to be pulled out, revamped, whether they're good or bad. Now, a criminal case is a different story. If there's criminal activity, behavior, then you got to investigate and see what you can prove. It's not what they do, it's what you can prove. 
but the entire government has to be revamped. That's that's a fact. If we don't, if the government, if us truthers don't change the government, we have, we have to reach the American people, and this has got to be done. This should be the number one mission, because if not, truthers are not getting nothing done. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm very disappointed. I've been a truther for four years. I'm very disappointed. Alex Jones brags that he got silicone out of the chicken McNuggets at McDonald's. <laughs> we need bigger changes than that. That's a great that's a great start. I'm not gonna put that down, but we need we need big stuff. We need big, big, big stuff changed. The government's out of control. There's reptilian hybrid people that are running the government. There's a device that you can see them. You can buy at Walmart Target. A real device. And you can see the shit they're spraying everybody with that's making everybody get sick. They're spraying us with some horrible stuff. And it's worse than cancer, folks. I can't tell you what it is, but it's worse than cancer. If you knew what it was, you'd fall on your knees and cry. If you knew what it was for a fact, and you can prove it yourself, if I showed you how you can see it, and you saw it was real, and, this, and, the, and you had scientists telling you what it does to you, you would fall on your knees and you would cry. You, there's no way you wouldn't cry. You would fall on your knees and you would cry. And you would cry and you would cry and you would cry. You would be in shock for about a month, like me. You'd be in total shock. And they're spraying the entire world, so don't take it personal. They're spraying everybody. They're spraying you, they're spraying me, they're spraying the entire world. You might have stopped for a while, they might have ceased, but, you know, because of, I don't know if it's because of me, but there's been some developments, but they might have stopped. It doesn't matter, because the stuff they're spraying you with, is still there. You can still, you can still see it with this device. Police departments know about it, which means they're in on it. That's the bad news. You don't have to believe they're reptilian. I'm not saying they have lizard tails. I don't know what the hell they are. They're humanoid, but they're different. They have a, they have a different, they have a different structure than we do because there's a device that allows you to see them. So they have a different, a different uh, structure. That's a fact. So that that much I will tell you. Now look at that house. Whoa! Sorry about that. <laughs> I got coffee. I got a little jumpy. Look at that house across the street. Isn't that a pretty house? Well, thanks for watching, and we'll figure this out as we go along. We need to be way more aggressive, but we have to always be inside the law and always be peaceful. Those are the two things that we have to always do. And stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be trying my best to change things, and with your help, together, we can do it. We can do it. Thanks for watching.